Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to the second episode of my Minecraft survival series here on Python's World. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'll tell you something guys, I definitely am because the amount of support you guys showed in the first episode has literally blown me away. Like, by every stretch of the imagination, I'm absolutely astounded by the support you showed in the first episode, guys. So, thank you so, so, so much for that. You know, that support has really given me a lot of motivation to, uh, to get this thing going, man. And it gives me hope that uh, people still have a lot of hype for, you know, just regular vanilla Minecraft Let's Plays. That really does make me feel really good. So, guys, thank you so much for that. Uh, but, yeah, guys, since the last episode, I have done a couple of things here and there. I've chopped down some more trees. I have gone ahead and hunted down some cows. The reason being is to get some leather. We've got ourselves sugar canes. We've got feathers in the house. And we also have ink sacks in the house, of course. What that means is we can make ourselves books and quills. And therefore get our common question of the video stuffs going. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Um, that's, that's great. I just like, broke my legs on several occasions there. Good stuff. But guys, welcome back. Like I say, I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. And, uh, yeah, we are going to go ahead and get ourselves the common question of the video from the last episode so we can actually go through it. All right, folks, so here we go. We have our common question of the video from the previous episode here coming from Kelvin Chen. Python, are you going to have a no F3 or no AFK fishing farm rule? Uh, I thought this was a pretty interesting one to try and, uh, to try and address because you know, those things are definitely things that I've had in mind in terms of like having a twist for the series. But uh, no F3, while it is an interesting idea, and I believe Rendog has that very rule in his survival let's play, I don't think I'm going to go ahead and do that. The reason being is because I like to try and have nether portals linking up to various other areas, and without the ability to have the F3 menu, therefore see coordinates, uh, I won't be able to correctly link up portals in the nether to various other locations in the world. So, yeah, uh, sadly we won't be doing the no F3 rule, but uh, the no AFK fishing farm rule it could be an interesting one to go for because, uh, yeah, I, I still feel like AFK fish farms are a little bit broken in that they are very, very overpowered. So as such, I think I will instigate that rule in that uh, we won't have AFK fishing farms. We'll try and get everything in an... Well, in air quotes, a legitimate sense. But, uh, yeah. So, I hope that uh, answered your question. So, yeah, no FK fishing farms. But, uh, yes, we will allow ourselves the use of F3. And the chicken is in the bed. I, I need to sleep there, little man. I need to sleep there. But, guys, we've got ourselves a resident here. <laughs> That's brilliant. All right. So, guys, in today's episode, we will be going ahead and exploring just a little bit more. Uh, I'd quite like to explore some of these surrounding cave systems that we've got going on around here. I have explored a couple here and there, but only really on the surface level. You can see in here, for example, we've got ourselves a bunch of iron ore, which I think we should go ahead and smelt while we're exploring. So, yeah. But in the meantime, let's close the door. Let's go to sleep with the little chicken watching me, because that's not weird or anything. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, we're gonna get this thing rolling. Right, let's bring down some of this, bring down some of this. You never know when you might need some of that. Uh, some coal for torches. And, of course, we'll put away the common question of the video book, because, you know, we've already done it. So, you know, that's all good. But, uh, yeah, wait, there's three eggs in here? <gasps> Oh my god, there's two! We have two chicken buddies in our starter house now, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, yeah, this could be the start of something bad, if we're not careful. <laughs> oh my word. Right, uh, there we go. A little bit of steakage as well. A little bit of food for the python. And absolutely brilliant stuff. Alright, so, I have done a little bit of exploring off camera. I have managed to find some various bits and bobs going on around here. For example, we have ourselves, like, a bit of a cave system down here. Like I say, I've only really explored the surface of it. We haven't explored too far down, as you can see. It goes down there. It goes down to, well, quite a lot of other places, actually. So, might be a nice idea to have a little bit of an explore uh, pick up some iron along the way it's always going to be useful good day to you sir how are you doing today on this beautiful day huh yeah, get wet, Sonny. You're not taking me down. No, 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 no. All right, so yeah, we've got plenty of iron around the place, which is really, really nice. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do as a bit of a plan of action is I think I'm going to explore just the surface caves for now. And then upon returning with whatever stuffs we manage to get, we'll make ourselves an iron pickaxe and iron tools and buckets and all sorts of stuff. And then we can probably start exploring down to diamond level. Hello! Good day. You're not taking me down. Not today, sir. No, 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 no. There you go. Oh, mate. I really need to make a shield, huh? 
That would actually be a fantastic idea, wouldn't it? That'd be a great little goal right there. I mean, we only need one piece of iron in order to do that, right? So it's it's certainly not the most expensive thing in the world to make, is it? But uh, yeah, as you can see, placing down plenty of torches. The idea is I normally spam down torches in an attempt to reduce mob spawns underground. So if I was to make an eventual mob farm, then uh, by having... All of the dark spaces already covered up with torches, we will have much higher spawn rates, right? So, yeah, that's my idea anyway. That's my idea. Eventually, I would love to have some sort of mob farm. Aha! Uh -huh. Plenty of coal. We've got plenty of coal, plenty of iron. Things are looking up for us, my friends, and uh, everything's looking really good. But if I could just go back to, uh, you know, just the amount of support you guys showed on the first episode, like is absolutely out of this world. For a channel my size, for that kind of support, for that kind of viewership to have happened is something of, I don't know, it, it's kind of amazing. I was never ever expecting it, I really wasn't, to have a higher amount of views on a video than I have subscribers to the channel. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> it's absolutely nuts. So once again, guys, thank you very much. I really, really do appreciate it. It, it literally put a huge beaming smile on my face. So thank you so much. All right. But in the meantime, let's take out our frustrations, even though I don't have any, on these here zombies. We're going to continue picking up some of these here ores because that's just what you do, isn't it? I heard a, I heard a spider. I'm not entirely sure if I'm a big fan of, of that. Yes, I hear you, buddy. Oh, mate, wouldn't it be cool if we had a dungeon around here? Dude, that'd be sick. We'd be able to have ourselves like a little dungeon XP farm. What is going on here? This looks like some weird terrain generation. <laughs> it's like a meteor has come crashing down here and it's just destroyed the world. Oh, hey, look at that. We've got ourselves a roofed forest biome and some mushrooms. There's a swamp biome over there. Got a bunch of cows here. Uh, not, not seeing too much else aside from that. Although getting some mushrooms probably wouldn't be the worst idea in the world because we could probably live on mushroom stew for a little bit. You know, while we don't have any farms, we could probably just use mushrooms. I mean, you can plant down mushrooms, have them grow, and then away you go, right? Mm hmm. Ah, you see, I feel like mushroom stew is such an underrated food. I think probably the only thing people don't like about them is the fact that they don't stack in the inventory, right? Which, you know, I mean, it does kind of suck, but uh, maybe that's the caveat for having such an easily obtainable food source. I mean, to me, that makes sense, balancing wise. So, yeah. Alrighty, guys, but in the meantime, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, continue exploring some of these here caves. We'll see if we can uh, pick up a whole bunch more iron and such. Uh, there's a little bit more over there, for example. And, uh, yeah, we'll get back to base we'll start making ourselves some iron tools iron armor and then perhaps we can start exploring further down maybe grab ourselves some diamonds our first ever diamonds of the series now that would be cool wouldn't it oh yeah all right boys let's get on with this if i find something cool i'll bring you guys back but for now let's go ore hunting Ah, oh, well, isn't that nice? I think every now and again, Minecraft likes to chuck some flowers on the ground just to remind you that the game loves you. <laughs> I don't know. I've always found it fascinating how flowers can spawn on the ground on these random dirt patches, but hey-ho, I mean, it makes it look nice, doesn't it? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you something, guys. This is one of the things I really, really enjoy about the new aquatic update. The new swimming allows you to swim against the tide a lot easier and a lot quicker. This is awesome. Look at this. Ordinarily, this would take absolutely ages to do. But as you can see, we are just seamlessly making our way through and discovering that uh, squid died down here. Oh, that's a bit morbid, isn't it? Ah, and here we are back at base, ladies and gentlemen, all rested up and ready to go. All right, so we've got ourselves a bunch of iron ingots in here. This time, I think we can split the workload. So let's put a couple bits in there and then a few bits in here. Hey, some more food for me as well. Fantastic. All right, so uh, let's have ourselves a bit of uh, a nom on some food for some breakfast here. And then we're going to make ourselves some armor. I mean, we did manage to pick up a pair of golden boots from a mob that I killed, but uh, it's not going to be as good as me having iron boots, is it? So, yeah, I mean, I appreciate Minecraft for giving me this stuff, but I think I'm okay. Look at me. I'm all ironed up. I feel fantastic, my friends. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait. Hang on a minute. I hear you. Oh. Um, sir, you appear to be, uh, you appear to be burning up. Are you all right out there? I mean, he's not even, oh, he doesn't even seem that phased about it. He's just stood there taking it. What a champ. What an absolute champ. Look at this guy. Oh, mate, you're, you're the MVP, man. You could just take pain like that. Wow. 
That is nuts. All right, boys. <laughs> Let's go grab ourselves an iron pick. Probably an iron sword as well. And I'm also thinking uh, a bucket as well. Because buckets are very, very useful for cave exploring. Especially if you want to stay alive. In terms of, like, you know, lava pools and putting water above it to turn it into obsidian. Hmm. <laughs> I think that'd be a nice idea. Anyway, so, yeah, we've got ourselves a bunch of awesome stuff. We just need to go ahead and chuck away a bunch of the stuff that we don't really need right now. So, we've got all of this stuff here. Yeah, there we go. We could probably make ourselves a bow, actually. That might be a nice idea. Uh, why don't we do that, actually? Yeah, and then use the remaining sticks for torches. Sounds like a good idea to me. All right, so let's get over here, bring up the recipe book, uh, toggle it so it only shows craftable stuff, and bada-bing, bada-boom. There's a bow for the Pythonator, yeah! Oh, and I almost forgot! A shield! Let's not forget that, eh? That'll probably be very, very good in terms of our survival. There we go, deflecting arrows like a champ. Oh, would you look at that! We found our first ever bits of gold in this series. Hey guys, you wanna check something out? Watch this. Absolutely no damage taken whatsoever. Huh? That, ladies and gentlemen, is why you have a shield. <laughs> It deflects so many kinds of damages, whether it be just arrows from skeletons or the entirety of the explosion of a creeper. It's insane just how brilliant the shields are. So if you guys ever want to go ahead and make yourself a shield, it's it's super... What is that? <gasps> oh my goodness me! Oh my word. Okay. Um, the, the, there's, a, there's a drowned dude there. And he's got a trident. What? Hello? Hi? Um, I don't like this. This is making me very nervous. Um, should I take him down? Like, oh, don't kill me. Take aim. Ha boom. Oh my god, you're going down. Yeah! Get wrecked, boy. <laughs> oh my word. Right. Wait. Did, wait, what? Where did this sword come from? I'm very confused. Oh, no, we didn't drop a trident. Mate, that would have been amazing. Right, that looks like it goes all the way down to diamond level, which is very, very nice. So I think we're in the correct location. Yeah, look at that. If you look at the uh, second number on the second chunk of letters or, or words, you've got the X, Y, Z. It's the second number we're looking at. So 26. We need to go to 20 or below in order to start finding diamonds, right? So uh, why don't we go at... Oh, hello. Hi. How you doing? Boom. Get destroyed. Go on. No, 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 no. Not taking me down. I might as well grab this iron while I'm here as well because, you know, it's iron. It's useful. Why not? <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, how many hours do I have left? One. All right. Well, we're going to have to go down there and pwn him. Hello. Oh, you're not taking me down like that, Sonny. No, 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 no. Ha Boom. Ow. Oh, no, you got me. How? How could you? Huh. No. Oh, I'm going down. I'm going down. I'm going for it. I'm going for the kill. Boom. Yeah. Get destroyed, boy. You're not taking me down like that. No, 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 no. We've got some redstone here, which is very, very nice. If not for doing redstoning, then it's very good for XP. So I'm I'm very happy with that. And of course, this is the reason why we brought down some water. So we can obsidianize this. Um, that's not even a term, I don't think. But uh, I just made it. So, you know, add it to the dictionary of the Pythonator. <laughs> All right. Come on, then. Uh, wait, is... No, what? Oh, my goodness me. Hello. Yeah, you see what I mean? Those guys could just drop down from nowhere, man. What the heck? <laughs> wow, that is actually scary. Yo, this is a double ravine. Mate, this is absolutely brilliant. Mate, I don't find double ravines that often. These things are just prime location for ores and brilliant stuff everywhere, man. Look at this. We've got some lapis down there as well. Right, I tell you what. We need to go ahead and uh, stock up on various bits and bobs. We need to stock up on the torches and... Wait, what else do we need to stock up on? No, it, it was just torches, wasn't it? Anyways, let's grab some of this here lapis. Very useful for enchanting, of course, and being a blue dye. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, don't come down here, please. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not about this life, man. I just want to be left alone, okay? Are we all good? Are we all good? Hello. Get wrecked. Oh, one shot. <laughs> what an embarrassment. Oh, go on, go on, creeper. Yeah! Look at that! Oh, my word. Was that not one of the best uses for my creeper brothers? <laughs> that was brilliant. Oh, my word. Wow. I could not do that again, huh? Well, I probably could now that I've learned that, uh, you know, I can just make these guys blow up without taking any damage whatsoever. Oh, my word. Get destroyed. <laughs> oh, 
This is very, very satisfying. Oh, it was only a matter of time, wasn't it, guys? <laughs> Our first ever diamonds of the series. Even though it might only be one, it's better than nothing, isn't it? <laughs> That is fantastic. All right, so here we go. Let's hop down here. Who knows? This might not even be the only diamond door. Maybe there's some uh, hidden behind it or something. You know, who's hoping? Who's hoping? All right, so let's see what's got. There is a creeper there. Oh, okay. So we've got at least two. That's pretty cool, I guess. That guy appears to be stranded, so that's okay. That's one. Uh, wait, all right. My inventory's okay. There's two. Uh, let's just make sure this won't... Yeah, there's three. All right, so we've got ourselves enough to make ourselves a diamond pickaxe. Now, ordinarily, I would go for five diamonds. The reason being is because you have three diamonds for the diamond pick, and then with the diamond pick, of course, you could pick up obsidian, and then the other two diamonds would, of course, be used to make an enchanting table. Enchanting tables, of course, being one of the best things to make in Minecraft. They really, really are. So, yeah, the earlier you can get them, the better things will be for you. So... All right, cool. Well, guys, well, sadly, that uh, double ravine didn't really have much in terms of diamonds, so I'm reverting to type. I'm reverting back to the old ways. Sometimes the old ways are indeed the best ways, and, well, as you can see, I am strip mining. Yep. Probably not one of the most interesting things to watch on camera, but, uh, you know, I just thought I'd go ahead and uh, show you guys that I'm doing this now because, you know, I really do want to try and find those last two couple of diamonds uh, because then, yeah, I'll be able to make myself an enchant table, get some better gear, and then, you know, maybe head down and get even more gear. Like, if we manage to get ourselves fortune or anything like that, that would be absolutely fantastic. So as you can see, my my idea with this is we have ourselves like a central spot. We dig ourselves a little corridor on either side. And then we go four blocks forward. Okay. And then we do the exact same. Four blocks forward, we do the exact same. Now, of course, in survival mode, the reach of your diamond pickaxe or whatever pickaxe it may be is five blocks. So that's pretty much like the limit in which I go to, right? So one, two, three four, five, and yeah, as you can see also, we're at level 11 as well, so what that should mean is, statistically speaking, we should wind up coming across diamonds uh, fairly reasonably soon. We've come across one of our old cave systems, which is fine, I guess. One, two, three, four. I mean, it's still worth going ahead and just digging out the corridors. You never know. There might be diamonds hidden behind anywhere. Little Houdini diamonds. You never know where they may be, guys. You never know. Oh, my word. And literally like a 20 second cut later <laughs> here we go guys oh my word is th oh my goodness me okay um what <laughs> oh okay um this is a lot more dangerous than i first anticipated uh okay uh should i i mean i should be able to mine this there's one there's two three four five six Seven, eight. Oh, whoa. Oh, my word. Wow, guys, we found an eight vein of diamonds. So not only that, we could probably make ourselves a sword and maybe even a piece of armor. That's incredible. <laughs> wow. I uh, I really didn't have to strip mine for long before I found that. I mean, that, that literally just down there. That's how far I had to go to find diamonds by strip mining. Absolutely brilliant. All right, guys, we're pretty much done here, in which case we've got a lot of building materials, cobblestone, amongst other things. We've got a bunch of arrows and mob drops and lapis and redstone. Lots of things to go ahead and take inventory of when we get back to base. And you know what? Why don't we get back to base and see what's going on? Well, guys, I went down a pretty poor man, but I've come back up even stronger. Hey, look, the chickens have grown up as well. Hey, I wonder if I can breed them real quick. Uh, oh, I don't have any seeds on me. Okay, fair enough. Right, so let's start off by putting away all of the building blocks or just any of the blocks in general. We've got a bunch of stuff to go ahead and smelt up. Uh, I didn't actually get that much coal, mostly because I used it all. Uh, anyways, let's get that put in there. Uh, four bits will be enough to smelt all of that gold right there. And yeah, we've got, we've got a lot of stuff. We've got a lot of stuff on us, guys. We even managed to pick up another bow, which is very nice. A bunch of bones as well, which is very cool. And a bunch of gunpowder, which is fantastic. All right, so let's go ahead and start uh, taking inventory. So we've got ourselves redstone, a ton of lapis here. We've got diamonds. So yeah, guys, honestly, things are starting to look very, very nice for us. We even picked up another iron sword, so... I mean, to be honest, we could probably just combine these two. I mean, why not? There you go. Save inventory space. Be awesome. Sweet. And uh, chuck the egg. 
Apparently, these guys are going to start littering eggs in my base now. How brilliant is that? But, ladies and gentlemen, on that successful note, after getting eight diamonds, or a grand total of 11, actually, we are going to go ahead and end this episode here, my friends. I know that some of you guys might not like mining episodes all that much, but in all actuality, it's kind of like a, it's like a necessary evil. It's like you need to go ahead and mine in order to progress through your world. And in my opinion, skipping, oh my word, skipping past the mining stage is like, mate, you've skipped a little bit too far. So yeah, I mean, every now and again, I would be more than down to do mining episodes. I mean, I want to do like a variety of episodes in this series, whether it be a building episode, we have a mining episode, exploring episode, maybe taking down an ocean monument or a woodland mansion, you know, all sorts of episodes. Like I don't want this to be focused entirely on one aspect of Minecraft. I want it to be focused on everything because I love this game. I really do. And I hope you guys are enjoying this series as well. But guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed enjoyed this episode, please do be sure to drop a like rating as it is by far the best way of letting me know if you want to continue seeing more. It's the best way of supporting myself, the video and the channel and I very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content my friends and of course I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.